আউজ বিল্লাহ হিমিনা শাহিতানুর রাজিম বিসমিল্লাহ রহমানুর রহিম ডিয়ার স্টুডেন্টস ইউ আর ওয়েলকাম টু অনলাইন ক্লাস ইউ আর ইউ আর স্টুডেন্ট অফ ট্যুরিজম অ্যান্ড হসপিটালিটি ডিপার্টমেন্ট টুডে ফর ইউ আই উইল ডিসকাস আ নিউ টপিক দিস ইজ গ্রামার টপিক ইউ ক্যান সি অন দ্য বোর্ড ইউজেস অফ আর্টিকেল ওকে ইউজেস অফ আর্টিকেল হোয়াট ইজ আর্টিকেল and uh, how to use article uh, it is very important for us to know especially uh, we have to know uh, for the class test for the semester final test some questions will be set from this topic that is why uh, i can say it is very important <coughs> dear student in the previous class last class i have uh, discussed the subject name that is course name the course name was basic english okay basic english basic english and uh, two days ago i have discussed another topic uh, the subject name was english okay 6 uh, 5712 subject code and 699 <coughs> one three these two topics i have discussed i uh, i have given different lecture first lecture was basic english and second lecture was english okay especially the topic is same the subject is same just we have uh, changed a little bit in the topic name uh, we have here it uh, basic here and here is no uh, basic but the syllabus content is same okay and this subject is designed for the student of tourism and hospitality especially my lecture will be related on this topic but uh, those who are student especially diploma in engineering learners you have to follow this course english and there is no difference between this uh, course name okay and course structure and syllabus are totally same there is why student of tourism department and student of diploma in engineering learners uh, both students you will be able to you will be uh, you will be benefited by doing these two classes especially i will discuss uses of article and this topic is related with basic english and uh, also related with english so diploma diploma in engineering learners and diploma in tourism english learners both type of students you will be able to uh, study this course okay so be careful and uh, today i will discuss uses of article let's start <coughs> what is article this is the most important question so what is article what is article article what is article <coughs> first as it is it is a grammar topic okay from class class 3 to 10 from class 3 to 10 all the students you have uh, know what is article because this topic is started from class 3 the student of class 3 5 4 okay 4 5 6 7 all the english book all in english book this topic is Uh, discussed that is why it is not a new topic it is a very old topic so article what is article if you want to know how to use article and what is article you have to uh, you have to uh, some clear idea you have to ask some clear idea on part of speech first you have to know what is part of speech next you have to know a noun classification of noun countable noun uncountable noun okay you have to how you have to achieve some clear idea on adjectives next you have to know the number number of noun that is singular number plural number when you will know when you will know the definition of part of speech noun adjective number singular plural and these topics will help you to know the article okay first question what is article the learners look at <coughs> what is articles article 
it is one kind of part of space okay part of a space okay what is part of a space if we say what is part of a space a space means sentence a space means sentence okay and parts means words parts of word parts words of sentence so parts of a space means words of sentence this is the classification of word how many types of words in english according to english grammar there are eight types of words these are noun pronoun adjective verb adverb preposition conjunction interjection okay these are classification of words among them we have to know noun and adjective okay you have to know noun and adjective these are important with this topic what is noun noun is a name of anything name of anything any object any properties of okay? any particle we call noun noun is a naming word name of anything any object any person any place okay an adjective what is adjective adjective are some words they describe the noun adjectives are adjectives are some word they describes noun okay that means adjective gives extra information about noun sometimes noun sometimes pronoun okay give extra information about noun or pronoun these are adjective so article we know that in english grammar there are two types of article in english grammar there are two types of article what are these definite article definite article and there is indefinite indefinite article okay in english there are two types of article first type is definite article second time is indefinite article what is definite article definite article is the okay the and second indefinite articles indefinite article a or n a or n okay we use the for a specific person for a specific reason specific specific reasons and non specific non not specific non specific reason okay the we use for specific reasons and indefinite there is not definite that is non specific reason we use a and the a or n okay so article what types of part of species what type of part of species article article is one kind of adjective okay one kind of adjective and adjective what is the function of adjective adjective gives extra information of noun or pronoun adjective gives extra information of noun or pronoun okay so suppose uh, what is the definition of adjective adjective gives adjective gives extra information of noun or pronoun that means adjective gives the adjective tell us about number quality quantity good quality bad quality condition it is of noun or pronoun suppose a boy okay how many boy it gives the number number okay number okay the boy it tell us the condition of condition condi son of condition condition of noun okay number number so adjective gives extra information of noun or pronoun adjective sometimes gives uh, uh, tell us the number how many boys there is a single boys number one one boys okay condition what is the condition definite condition fixed condition okay so adjective tell us the number quality quantity condition good quality bad quality of noun or pronoun that is called adjective okay so 
according to the number we can say article is one kind of adjectives okay that is students so if you want to know how what is article and how to use article if, uh, if you want to uh, if you want to collect clear idea achieve clear idea about article at first you have to you have to achieve the clear concept on parts of a speech without knowing part of a speech you cannot get clear idea on article okay now next we will discuss how to use a or n how to use the okay one by one we will discuss this article first one is definite article okay definite article definite article definite article i have to do the the we use the for a specific region for a specific region that means to identify the noun or pronoun how they are using the sentence how they are using the sentence definitely or indefinitely we use article the okay the it has three type of uses first number the it has three type of uses three type of uses definite article is the and it has three type of uses first uses definite okay definite uses second number <coughs> anaphoric uses anaphoric uses anaphoric uses number 3 generic uses with uses okay generic use or uses generic use and aphoric use and definite use these are three type of uses of article and in the class 1 to 10 in class 3 to 10 you have know how to use article as a definite article and now we will discuss another two uses another two type of uses that is anaphoric uses and generic uses as well as definite uses so what is definite uses i have already told you that definite definite means define that is specific use definite means is specific fixed is specific okay when the speaker when the speaker speaker and learners learn learn here listener sorry it's a listener this listener bhakta shrota listener and speaker listener speaker when the speaker and listener both of them know both of them know on what think on what person we are talking when the speaker and listener know about the thing we call it is definite use suppose <coughs> suppose give give me the book okay this fixed suppose coming just coming in the class i am asking asking a book from the uh, from the students dear students give me the book both the speakers and learners they will be able to know on what book i am talking and if i if i tell this give me a book okay here a means any any book any any one any one of the books any one of the books okay any one of the book there are many books and from them only one book 
I want from you. And when I will make these questions, give me, please give me the book. That means um, oh, I am seeking a fixed book. Okay. When the speaker and listener know on what book, on what book I am seeking, the speaker and listener at the same time they are confirmed that I am talking on a specific book. Okay. When I will use a, the speaker and listener they don't know why, which book I am seeking. Okay. So in this case we use definite article. Anaphoric. Anaphoric. What is the meaning anaphoric? Anaphoric. Anaphora means anaphora means backwards. Back. Anaphoric means backwards or to look back. To look back. Okay, to look back, backwards. Suppose <coughs> I have a, I have a, <coughs> I have a book, the book is Grammar. Okay, I have written a sentence. Two sentences I have written here. First sentence is I have a book. Okay, first time I use a word book, and uh, I have written second sentence. The book is a uh, uh, grammar. Okay, book. I have used the same word second time. Book. First time, second time, and. In the first sentence, I have written a book. This book and this book are same book, okay? And this book indicates the first one. That is, look back. This book refers to the first first book in the first sentence, first word of the first sentence. So, book and this book are same book, and it indicates the backwards. That is why when we uh, when we write a paragraph, when we write a story this way. Okay, we, we, we use first type of noun in the first sentence. Okay, when we indicate the same word or same parts on second time, and if it uh, gives us, if we mean that this book and this book, that this noun and this noun is same noun, we call it an appropriate use of the. This time we have to use the, not a. Okay, we have to use the, not a. So this is the use of anaphoric, anaphoric use of the. Next, we will go to uh, generic use. How to use uh, the as a generic use? Look at generic use. Generic use means class, class or group, class or group, class or group. That means all, all, any one of all. Okay. Generic the the lion is a dangerous animal. Okay, look at the student. The lion is a dangerous animal. Here I have used the. What type of is the? The it is a generic use. Why? Here the is not a single lion. Here the a we use for to indicate all, all line. Okay, all line is a dangerous thing, not a single line. This line uh, we use as a class. We have used as a class or group or all. Okay, so this is this type of uses we call generic use. So there is learners. The article, the article it has three type of uses. Okay, first type of uses is definite uses, second type of use, anaphoric uses, third time uses, that is generic use. First time I have used as a definite article, second time I have used as, a anaphoric, as an anaphoric use, third time I have used as a generic use. So 
we have to know the three type of uses of article the now we are going to uh, the uses of a or and how to use a or n indefinite article a or n okay look at very simple topic a o n a or n that means any any one j connect any one okay a or n first type of use a or n that is indefinite in the indefinite uses indefinite use or indefinite uses second second time we will use it as a generic use generic use okay and of reduce sorry indefinite use and generic use okay indefinite use that is any one of thing or person okay any one thing or person people use a or n to indicate one person or th one thing that is please or pass me a pen please pass me a pen please that is pass me any one of any of thing any one only one okay and find the speaker or person don't know what pen or which pen i'm um, sitting we in this case we use a or n second generic use what is generic use generic use already i have talked at the time of uh, use of the generic means <coughs> class or group class or group okay a dog is a faithful animal a dog is a faithful animal so i have used her a a is not <coughs> a is her all okay not one a dog is a faithful animal here a we have used a for indicate indicate all class whole group whole group or whole class total class or total group here a gives the meaning of all but here gives the meaning of only one thing a single thing single person single object but here dog a dog indicates not only a single it gives the idea of whole class that is why uh, we call it generic use of a or an article okay so this is the use of article a or n we use it definitely and sometimes we use it generically generically okay the student so how we will use a or n especially if you want to use a or n we have you have the clear idea on letters vowel or consonant vowel or consonant before vowel sound before vowel sound we use before vowel sound we use n and before consonant sound we use consonant sound consonant before consonant sound we use a okay the student already we have uh, 
our my my uh, our fixed time is already uh, finished that is why uh, next class next class i will talk details about issues of article and uh, remaining topic i will try i will try to add extra topic so dear student uh, study this topic from a textbook and to take uh, try to collect clear idea on this topic and uh, uh, when we will uh, when you will get time to do classes physically in the classroom, if you have any questions, you can ask me and I will try to give the answer. So, uh, no more today. Thank you. Best of luck. Allah Hafiz.